The opinions expressed in the following message are those of the Shell Petroleum Company and in no way misrepresent the business interests of the corporate-owned media in which it originally appeared. People have the right to the truth, unvarnished, even uncomfortable, but never subjugated to a cause, however noble or well-meaning, they have the right to clear thinking. Slogans, protests and boycotts don't offer answers. It has been suggested that Shell should pull out of developing nations altogether. The oil would certainly continue flowing, the business would continue operating, the vast majority of employees would remain in place. But the sound and ethical business practices synonymous with Shell, the environmental investment and the tens of millions of dollars spent on community programs would all be lost. Again, it's the people of developing nations that you will vote. It's easy enough to sit in your comfortable home in the West, calling for sanctions and boycotts against a developing country, but you have to be sure that knee-jerk reactions won't do more harm than good. Some campaigning groups say we should intervene in the political process in developing nations, but even if we could, we must never do so. Politics is the business of governments and politicians, the world where companies use their economic influence to prop up or bring down governments would be a frightening and bleak one indeed.